every berry season, I try to come up with a new dessert to use them in. I've done buckles, I've done crisps, I've done tarts and galettes, and this is going to be the year of the buckwheat berry stripe cake because it's delicious. Buckwheat berry stripe cake. Buckwheat berry stripe cake. <laughs> You make this just like a regular butter cake. You wanna beat your butter and your sugar and your egg until it's very smooth. You want this nice emulsification in your mixer. And then you add the buttermilk. And what happens when you add that liquid is that the mixture is gonna break. It's gonna look a little bit grainy, but don't worry because as soon as you add your dry ingredients, it all smooths out. I love what buckwheat does to a butter cake. I think it makes the butter taste actually even richer. It also adds an earthy flavor, a complexity, and it goes really well with berries. And that's it, it's the simplest batter. The reason that I'm using such a shallow pan is that I want the berries to stay on top of the cake and a shallow pan makes it easier. If I used a deeper pan, they would sink a little bit and the cake wouldn't be as pretty. I want it to be tasty and absolutely stunning. Now this is the fun part and I'm thinking stripes. So I'm gonna start with strawberries right down the middle. When you cut strawberries, they look like little hearts, so cute. This is actually the perfect thing to do with your small child. You can just arrange it, everybody can get creative. And say, look at the pretty little hearts. I love the texture of this cake. It's very moist. It's almost what I would call a damp cake. If you ever read old British cookbooks, they talk about damp cakes, and they mean that in a very good way. They mean that it's, it melts in the mouth, it's very moist, and it's um, a little crisp at the edges. I don't even wanna bake this, this is just so pretty. I just wanna stand here and admire it and just look at it all day. But I will bake it, and then I will eat it. You can have fun decorating the top of the cake with the berries, do any shapes you like. I like to do a stripe cake, but if you like a gingham cake or a rhombus cake or a big giant star cake, go to town. It's your canvas.